This movie is an overview of how to edit blocks once you have created them. If something is selected in the main display window, whether it's a root, block, tree or other element, its properties appear on the right in the Properties panel. For example, if we select this block, its properties appear. You can expand and collapse each group like this, and if you need more room, you can minimise the City Analysis panels by clicking here. In the general group here at the top, we can change its name, group, phase and type. The options below the general group change depending on what type of block is selected. In this detached, semi-detached housing block, for example, we can type in a net residential density, say 30 dwellings per hectare, and the total number of houses is automatically calculated based on the size of the block which has been drawn. Alternatively, you can type in the total number of dwellings and the net residential density will then be recalculated. If you choose the Modify tool, you can change the size of the block. And if you reselect the block, you can see that the number of units has increased. If you want to keep the number of units constant, you can lock the number by clicking on this padlock here. If you change the size of the block, the number of units will stay constant and the density will change. If we go back up here and change the block type to a perimeter block with terraced housing, we can see that the options change below. This block type assumes that the perimeter of the block is lined with terraced houses. You can type in an average width for the terraced houses and the total number is then estimated based on the length of the perimeter for the block that you have drawn. Alternatively, you can type in the number of units and the average house width will be recalculated. If we choose either a mixed-use perimeter block or a building, then a third group appears which allows you to control the settings of individual floors and subdivisions. First, select which floor you would like to change the settings for. The options available in this menu will change depending on how many storeys and basements are in the block. You can give each floor or subdivision a name and can select from the available land uses. The options below change depending on which land use you have chosen. At the bottom, you can use these controls to copy the settings from the current floor or subdivision to others in the same block. For example, if we do this, it will copy all of the settings, including the name, to the floors above. When editing mixed-use blocks, the mixed-use block controls appear, where you can create any number of land-use subdivisions. For example, you can say that 30% of the block is occupied by one type of land use and 70% by another. Note that this percentage value is the proportion of the block's footprint. The actual floor space, or GFA, of the land use subdivision can be controlled here. The settings for each of these land use subdivisions can then be edited individually below. When editing city items, you can create land use subdivision in the same way as mixed use blocks. The only difference is you need to specify a footprint for city items. With mixed use blocks, the footprint is calculated automatically from the area of the block, but when using city items, you need to enter a footprint in the total area input here. For more information, please see the help files which can be accessed by pressing F1 when using CityCAD.